guys, good to have you all back. I have lots of stuff on my desk today. <clears throat> Let me tell you the idea for today. Um, as you may know, I've been on a short little trip with my husband to the northeast part of the Netherlands for a couple of days. We stayed in a lovely hotel and it's a lot. I we did a lot of thrifting. Yes, uh, I have a, a video on this for coming Sunday with all the treasures that I found. Now, this hotel had... A gazillion brochures all about, you know, museums, exhibitions, stuff you could visit when you were in that area. We didn't visit any of it. No, because I had to go thrifting. But um, some of the brochures were really lovely. So I took some home with me because, you know, it's paper. It's paper. Let's use it. <clears throat> so what I want to do is take one of these brochures and make something with it. So it's a sort of a trash to treasure kind of a video. Um, yeah. And I'm going to use lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Let me first show you sort of the brochures that I took with me. And then the idea that I have for one of them. Okay, so this is actually a card from the hotel. It was a lovely hotel. Yes, we visited there a couple of years ago and we went again. And uh, it's a nice hotel. Nothing really special, but it was a nice hotel. I took, I just took these three with me. <laughs> I like this one because of the um, of the ladies on the, on the front with the nature in the back. I really liked it because this is sort of traditional clothing for that area. We don't dress like this, guys. No, we do not walk in wooden shoes and such. Only at festivals. Um, yeah, so it's like sort of a brochure thingy. I took this one. I took this one because I really love the image on the front. This is actually from uh, an artist. Yeah. Um, she does something with glass. Yeah, these. Um, I'm sorry, I did not visit her exhibition. But I really like this. I want to do something with this. But not in this video. Because I also found this one. And this I really loved. Beautiful old painting. This is actually from the 1500s or something. This is fantastic. for me. To me, this is absolute art. I love this. Um, it's actually... An Italian lady who painted this in the uh, 1500s. Yeah, amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to use this brochure. Yeah. And I'm going to make it into sort of a folio with flips and pockets and such. Yeah. So this, bro I love this. Love, love, love this. As you can tell, it's a little bit dark. It's Renaissance and uh, such. So I want to use some darker colors. Don't. Uh, use those a lot but you know let's just try it out so it's going to be like a black and white grungy ivory antique lovely stuff let me show you the supplies that i'm using another video where i'm just winging it guys i have i have no clue what i'm doing i just took out lots of beautiful papers now this is from uh 15 something i don't have any papers from 15 something i don't know 18 something is the oldest that i have so but i took out some antique papers this is beautiful music um paper i love this i think i'm gonna use this part and then some lovely music paper i took out some antique book pages yeah just I have this. Isn't that fantastic? Hoping to use it. Some ledger even. So some very old um, book pages or ledger or music or what have you to sort of, you know, I need to make collage because I, I want to cover this up. Of course. Yeah. Then I also have this book uh, that ha has sort of black and white illustrations in them of old buildings and such with handwriting. And I thought that would maybe work well. So I'm I'm thinking about, um, you know, cutting out some some lovely images from this as more focal points. So I'm using this book. Uh, I want to use lace. I never use lace. I have so much of it. I have a big piece of black lace. I think that's going to... I'm going to try to use it, guys. Don't know how or in what capacity. I don't know. I have some small back, black lace. I have this black trim with sort of pearl beads i don't know uh and um, then some lovely sort of older looking ivory ones you've not you haven't seen this one yet this is going to be in my haul video i found it isn't it lovely it's ivory rick rack rick rack um that's it for the old i'm gonna use some new stuff as well i don't know if i'm gonna use all of it guys I will try to use again the rub-ons from uh sample yeah 
these are a little bit tricky i think i found a way to use these and then also i have more rub-ons from and these are all black and white that's why i'm going to use them from simple stories yeah from this um series the the sort of release that i did a couple of days ago yeah with botanicals i'm going to use some botanicals it also had these i don't know if these are stickers or just uh, cut out i think they're just cut out so i'm also going to use some of this hoping yeah i still have not used this tim hold stamp no and i think it would be nice to have sort of a ba uh, in the background i don't know some florals don't know uh, I have wax seals. <laughs> I think I want to use a wax seal. Just reminds me of that of that era. So wax. I didn't make these guys. No, I'm not making wax seals. I want my house to be intact. Also using some bits and bobs. Uh, for inking, for distressing, I'm using dark, dark colors. Like round espresso and black soot. Yeah. For stamping itself, if I'm going to do stamping, I'm going to do black. Just black. Uh, I'm going to use glue, scissors, ruler what have you what am i making no clue no clue i'm using this making something let's start okay let's have a look i love the image i do not love this this is actually the name of the of the painter yeah sofonispa angis uh, italian italian love this i would love to have this on the front yeah so i'm thinking i'm gonna cut this piece off have this as sort of the cover yeah, maybe have this flip out. I think so. Uh, so she's going to be on the cover. I'm going to do lots of sort of decorating with some paper and some lace because it's way too dark as it is. I love it, but it is really, really dark. Yeah, and then this is going to be on the inside as sort of a flip out folio thing. And I think I'm going to cut her off, this piece off. Yeah. And then this is going to be the back, so we need to decorate here. And then I have this whole piece left. I'll probably use this to make another sort of flip. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna go for it, guys. Gonna go for it. Uh, I am, however, taking out my paper trimmer because I want this to be straight. Straight. I love this sort of art. This, this to me is real, real art. Yeah, I do love uh, different sorts of art, but modern art, I, um, oh, I don't really have the feeling for modern art. Uh, I think I stopped at, I don't know, Jugendstil or something like it. There you go. Was that straight? Yeah, it was. It was. Okay, so. This is going to be a flip out. Yeah, this is going to be the cover. Then we have this piece left. I actually really want to use her, of course, somewhere. Uh, what if we sort of... Can, uh, can we make a pocket here? And then... Let's see. What if we put her... I'm going to lose her. I'm very sad, but I think I'm going to lose her. Unless I'm going to put her somewhere somewhere else. I think even I'm going to cut her off. We're going to cut her off. And use this as sort of a flip thingy. I don't know if, if this is smart what I'm doing, but I'm just going to try something, guys. Yeah. Okay have her as sort of a tuck spot here and then have this sort of flip open oh yeah i'm gonna fold this in yes okay this is going to be a pocket on the back i'm gonna cover it yes i'm going to cover this and this flips open see i could have left her here <laughs> I could have left her here. I'm going to glue her back. So this is also going to be sort of a talk spot. Yeah. Okay. Don't know about this one, guys. Um, this is going to be sort of a peekaboo. Yeah. Because, you know, her face is on calf cover. So I'm going to put, put something there. Put something there. Okay. I need to cover a lot of pieces. 
I want to cover this piece, this over here, a uh, big part of this, and then I'm gonna keep this, this, and this. Yeah, and of course, this. I'm just taking out some lovely papers and doing a sort of a collage on here. Let's do this. I'm starting with this piece on the inside, yeah? Um, I think I want to use I want to use this. I think it will fit. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try to make it fit. Very old paper. I don't have a date on this. It says I think it says Lady of the Lake, but my Italian is not optimal. So let's let's just see. Uh, I'm just gonna fold it in, put it on there. Will it sort of fit? Well, we're gonna lose this and this, but that's that's okay, that's okay. I'm going to use my ruler for this. I'm just gonna cut, well, tear this off. Probably I'm gonna use this somewhere. Yeah, it's beautiful paper. Ooh, love this. Do we need to cut this out? Mm, yeah, I think so. Okay, what was the width? Needs to be a little bit further. Gonna cut here. Well, rip here. Careful, love. Okay. Did I go do a good job? Let's see. I need to lose a tiny bit. But that is not going to work with um, without a ruler <laughs> and a knife. I need to take a little piece off here. There we go. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So these edges are going to be straight. It's okay if it's a little bit uh, smaller than the page underneath because I'm gonna do some inking before I glue this on all around this, the edges. Let's see, is it still too big? You should have measured, love. Yeah, well, I am not into measuring today. Actually guys, I woke up this morning and I knew I need to do a video very early because it's going to be very hot. I have, I have no clue what I was doing. So I just started to clean out my suitcase and such. And then I found these. So I was like, well, well, let's do something with these then. No problem at all. Right. Now, hopefully. This is small enough. It is. Now it will fit. Now it will fit. Um, I might see a little bit of the white of the page peeping out. That is why I am going to sort of ink all around it beforehand. Just doing a little bit of inking on, on these edges. Well, this is going to be black, so that's quite all right. While I'm inking and collaging, let's tell, well, let, let me tell you a little bit of, about our holiday. We did enjoy ourselves. Um, we did went to this hotel about four or five years ago. And then it was really good. This time, uh, well, let's just say we were hungry after having dinner. <laughs> the, portions, the portions were really, really small. And I mean really, really small. Yeah. So... Well, that's okay. We, we enjoyed ourselves. Do we want to ink this? Yes. I'm going to do this uh, with black soot. Already way lovelier, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks way better.
I was in the beginning a little bit afraid, uh, afraid to sort of distress with black soot. I was like, don't do it with black. But it's actually, especially on a sort of a project like this, it's actually really nice. See? Yeah. Why not? Why not? So, I'm going to glue this on here. This also needs something. A something. Do we want it to put on some of the music? Or some ledger. I have some beautiful ledger. This over here. I love this. Yeah. Let's do this over here. Measuring. Oh, you should measure, love. I'm not going to flip it over. I'm just doing this. <laughs> and I'm taking off this piece. Yeah, and how much from the top? About yay much. Yeah, see? It looks completely different. Completely different already. So I'm going to put this on here. Uh, we need a big piece on the back. But I do have the flip thingy. So I need a piece at least... Yay, yay much, yay much. Ledger? Ooh, yeah. Or, I'd rather have the writing than the numbers, I think. Yes. Now, guys, uh, I have a lot of ledger. I am very fortunate that I have a very good friend who is like an expert on, <laughs> on ledger. Unless you see how much will be covered. She has so much ledger and she shared a lot with me. So that's why I can rip this and use it. You need to use your stuff, lovies. You really do. Otherwise you just accumulate stuff and never use it. But I do use every piece of it. Yeah. I'm going to ink all around this as well. Yeah. I think I want to have some lace somewhere. And maybe a piece of sort of torn ledger. Or music paper or book page. Yeah, I think I'm going to do some torn book page, like so. So we're keeping this bit. And then cover it as well with a little piece of lace. What do we want here? What else do we have? Is that nice? I also have this, guys, but this is transparent. Oh. Um, and I don't know how I'm going to glue it without this sort of dissolving. But I think I'm going to put it somewhere over, over a piece. Over a piece. I think I want music. I'm going to put a piece of music. Oh, look at this music pop. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I want to use this. Yeah, I'm going to put this here. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, and then some music paper here. Going to rip it. Yeah. Guys, I made lots of panels. Yeah, this one, this one, this one. Then I put a piece here and here. I made it too short. Well, too small. That's a look, look at the inking. Yeah. Uh, but I have a solution for this. I didn't want to cut rip off another piece. Uh, this one over here and this one. So now what I need to do is do something here on the on the cover. But I really want to keep this piece. And um, also going to put some, some lace over it somewhere. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. And then this piece. And we have this one left. I was thinking maybe we could make a small sort of 
pocket thingy here. This is crooked, right? I think it is. Um, but I'm going to cut this off first. I'm going to use her somewhere. Yeah. And then I'm going to cover this with lovely paper. But first, let's have a look. Is this crooked? Well, yeah. Yes, it is. Why? Why did I make this crooked? I don't know. I did do this with my paper trimmer, right? I'm thinking yay much. Well, at least it's it's a little bit straighter. So I'm going to cover this with paper as well and have it as a sort of a tuck here. Now I really want to keep her eye on here and um, but I want to cover this up. So I was thinking to do a sort of a, a collage with some papers that I could rip. Let's see. Um, yes, a piece of mu music paper. I'm just going to sort of rip it. And let's just see. I ripped edges on the top as well. This is not easy, guys. I don't do this very often. Oh, yeah. Let's let's do this. And then have... Uh, this needs to be ripped. Yeah. And I think... Oh, that looks interesting, doesn't it? Yeah. And I think I'm going to put something like one of the floral images over there. Yeah? Okay. Until where do we need to rip this? Thinking here. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's just see what this would look like. Yeah, I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to put another sort of piece here. All the way to the bottom. Yeah, sure. Well, there's going to be pocket there, so it doesn't need to go all the way to the bottom. I'm sorry, guys. Was I out of frame? There we go. There we go. So, yeah, I'm going to put this on. Put another piece on here and then a pocket. Pocket here. What sort of... That's too small. That's too bad. That it is too small. Or maybe a piece of this ornate paper. Oh, yeah. Yes. See? Yeah. I'm going to put this on here. So we use this sort of paper, put on a label. Yeah. Okay. Put this here and here. Now we need to do the front as well. There we go. I want to do something similar. Then way smaller, just well, a this, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on the front, and it's going to have uh, a piece of lace as well. Yeah, okay. Inking. I'm going to do lots of inking and then gluing stuff down. Yeah. And then we're going to do some decorating. As I was making the pocket, guys, I wanted to put glue on here. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, because of pretty. So I, I flipped it over. So now this is going to be the pocket. For the gluing down of the pieces, I'm just using, I'm going to use my glue stick. Now, some of these pages like this, I could put glue on the page. But other pieces, like for instance, well, somewhere, this one, I'm just going to put glue on the page underneath. Because it's very brittle and fragile paper. So, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to uh, glue a piece on. <laughs> I did do all the inking in advance, guys. I inked all around the edge where I want to uh, glue something on. This, this is just something that I like to do. There's still a hexagon on here. <laughs> From the previous project. Yeah. Um, ew. It's a warm day. The, the glue is all gooey. Gooey gluey. Um, the, I, I 
ink the surface underneath beforehand. I just think it looks better because if you're gonna glue it afterwards, you can all uh, there's going to be a little bit of difference in height, so you will see it for sure. You'll see it. So that's why I always, almost always glue um, ink in advance. Yeah. I purposely left a little bit of room on all edges. Why? Very old paper. It will uh, eventually start to sort of start to curl up and rip and such. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, guys, I'm going to do this with all the normal pieces. But the pockets I'm going to do with um, hard glitter glue, of course. Yes, because then we need a smaller bit of glue. So I'm going to glue all of it on. Not exciting. Be right back. All the panels are on. It isn't, it's already lovely. Yeah, it's already lovely. I really like it. Um, yes, open this up. We need the pocket here. So I'm going to glue this here. We could make pockets here. Probably will. But no. I have not thought about that yet. <laughs> Let's just start here. Okay. Yep. Just a shallow pocket. Okie dokie. Yeah. And then this one needs to be... Oh, that does look lovely, doesn't it? Yes. Um, yeah. Did I put the, right, uh, the wrong side on? Yes, I did. But it's worked out. <laughs> I was actually... Um, uh, yeah, well, that's okay. That's okay. I need to put glue here, here, and here. Both sides of the paper were lovely, but I wanted to have the sort of music paper on there. That didn't happen. Doesn't even need glue there, guys, but I'm putting glue there anyway. Yeah. So this is going to be a pocket, and on the other side, a flip. Does need to line up. That'd be nice. Yes. Oh, it's actually cute. Yeah. So, yes. Flip, flip. Flip, flippy thingy. Pocket. Yeah. <laughs> it's already cute. Already cute. I'm going to put her somewhere. On a... Somewhere. See, maybe here or something. Now, yes, I cut this way too short, guys. Way too short. But I was also thinking with the Simple Stories um, collection, I have these tapes that I really like. So why not put something here? Just a strippy. And I have not used these. These are the botanical ones. Oh, yes. That's lovely. That's just lovely. Okay. I'm going to try to put it sort of straight. Yeah. I am sort of um, removing myself like a millimeter from this edge. Because that's, there's a fold there. Yeah. And if you put washi tape on the fold. No nice. <laughs> oh yeah. That's lovely. Now I need to put some washi tape elsewhere as well. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm going to use more of this. Yes. Well. Uh, or. Maybe here. On the bottom. Yeah. That's cute. We want it. Do we want it here? Just a piece. Not a lot. Well, we're decorating already. Yeah. Do we need anything here? Maybe later. Maybe later. Uh, guys, I'm going to let it dry for just a second. Yeah. And then, before I put on the lace, I want to put on some lace here. I'm going to do that at the end. Why? Because if I'm going to put it on now, it will be bulky. Yeah, so if I want to decorate, 
something over here there will be lace underneath and it will be bulky so i'm gonna keep the lace for later i want to do some stamping first i'm gonna use this floral trims yeah i need my stamping tool for this because i don't have uh, an acrylic block that is this big so i was actually thinking to put i'm just gonna stamp over it guys to put some here yeah and then some there here and there yeah and put other stuff on it as well but you know let's start uh i'm going to use normal black ink for it let's see where did we want this uh we did not want it to go on all the way So I need a piece of paper underneath, otherwise I would be stamping on my block and we don't want this. Yes, here and here. Yeah, okay. It's been a while since I've done this. Yep. Okie dokie. Claire, Cursivine. Uh, bump, bump. new stamps but you know these are mr holt's so i am not worried at all no it will be fine honestly these are expensive but they never ever disappoint me not ever did i put enough ink on yeah it'll be fine I have no clue how this will look, but you know, in my head, it will be lovely. Also on paper, lovely. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, like it, like it a bunch. Let's stamp this off. Okay, for the other one, I'm going to do this upside down, guys. Okay, this was on the top. Let's do this one on the bottom then. No more room on my desk, as, as per usual. Do we want this here? I think so, yeah. Well, we're gonna do this. There we go. Uh, which part is going to be on here? This part. Okay. Here goes nothing. There we go. On ledger. Pretty. Yes. Love it this off let's have a quick look guys lovely lovely Ooh. do we well i also have the rub-ons so i also want to try some of the rub-ons this big i'm not gonna do the hello friend bloom love no 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 yeah i'm gonna have this rub-on over here Let's have a look. Yeah, really cool. There's a small B. I'm going to have the B on there as well. Okay, so I'm going to have this over here. Probably going to put on a label as well. I want the B to be in the sort of blank spot. spot. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put this one on. That worked like a charm. Yeah, I was a, a little bit worried how it would work out on this sort of antique paper because sometimes Robins, they don't really like it. Uh, I'm going to put this one on here. I'm going to try to not put the hearts on. I just don't enjoy these. So yeah, I just uh, used the sort of Robin sticky thingy. I am going to put the um, little bee on here, of course. So I'm going to 
try to <laughs> rub all around it, not putting the hearts on. So yeah, what's the theme of this um, sort of folio? Well, Renaissance Botanical. <laughs> Another heart here. I should have cut them off right. Yeah, well. Why do it easy when you can do it the hard way? Right? Yeah. Sort of my motto. Let's see. Is this going to be as simple as it was with the last one? Not the heart. Oh, the heart is on there. Well, the hearts are going to be on there. I am very sorry. There's going to be hearts on there. <laughs> Ignore the hearts, please. Hearts to me are like the same as sentiments. Unless they're in a, a charm or a bead form. <laughs> I don't mind it then. But on paper, hearts to me are like sentiments. See? Easy. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. Love it. Um, yes, we also have the lovely lady. Now, this is the only page that doesn't have, like, a sort of face on it. Let's say the face. Uh, so I think I want to have her here. But something in the background. Other than the um, rub-ons from Simple Stories, I also have these. But they are a little bit too wide, so I might ink them. Just put something behind her. See, oh yeah, like so, yes. So I'm just going to put some... Well, in this case, round espresso, that's maybe a little bit too dark, but that's okay. Yeah, see? The white just disappeared. Oh yeah, love this. Yep, I'm going to do this. And I might add some labels. Now guys... I've been cutting out labels since forever. Because Michelle to Junk the Studio already mentioned it probably. Uh, made a fantastic label kit called Days Gone By. Fantastic. 16 pages. <laughs> what? 16 pages. 16 pages of labels. All different sizes. And, um, you know, vintagey looking. And I've been cutting them out like crazy. I'm going to show you in a second. Yeah? Oh, cute. Do you want to rub on here? Lovely sort of flower and then a butterfly. Just going to do it. These really come off very easy. So I enjoy this. It, see? I just I, you just need to rub a little bit and then uh, and then this magic happens. I think they they can be compared to um Stamperia and 49 and Market. And I also love those robins. Butterfly, is it on there? Almost. Don't put the heart on there. I'm not putting the Oh, this is going to have this this one is having a hard time. Come on, love. I was just telling you that you were like the easiest robins. Yeah. Very cute. And just one here. Needs to something here. I'm going to do that later. What else? Um, pocket. I'm going to make a pocket here, guys. Pocket, yeah. From these papers. I want to have, well, a big something of these here. Let's see. So 
that a bit much. Oh, maybe a butterfly. It needs, it needs to cover this pot. Oh, that looks lovely. Do not poke her eye. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I like this. I'm not going to take a ground espresso, guys, because that's actually a little bit too dark, in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to go vintage photo. Oh, let's just take out the brush, lovey. I need something in the background. So much stuff on my desk. Yeah. See, just add a bit of color to get rid of all the white. Oh, yes. So much better already. So much better. Yeah. So, there we go. I don't mind fuzzy cutting at all. But sometimes it's just very sort of handy to have something. It's going to be on her nose. That's okay. Uh, there you go. There's a flower on your nose, love. Yeah. But it's pretty. Going to have a big label there. Big label. Uh, what are we going to... Uh, pocket here. Pocket here. Do we need a something? Some butterflies. Yeah, I think so. I don't like the black in the background. Yeah? Yes! But they need some inking. Got this one, love, this one. <laughs> And the last one. Yes, just some butterflies. I know I'm going to get questions. What are you going to do with this? Nothing, loves. It's just really cute to make and look at. But you could put something in pockets and then gift it as, um, you know, in, in Happy Mail or, or something. Maybe the small one in between, and then and this one. Yeah. Donna del Lago. Is that Lady of the Lake? Because Donna is like lady or woman. And Lago, I think Lago is lake. There we go. Really cute. It needs a label here. So I'm going to look for label. What do you want here? Well, probably either a label or one of these. Or, oh, I have this dragonfly. Oh, cute. Cutesy. Yes. Something here. I was thinking about a label. Pocket here. What do we have here? We already have this here. We have this here. Needs a label there. I'm going to put the label here. And then do we want something there? I think that it will be too much next to each other. Oh, oh, let's do... Uh, do we want something of this? No, there's already so much, so much on there. So I don't know. Do we need lace? Ooh, guys, do we want this? Yes, we do. Yeah, I'm gonna put lace there. Later, lace later. Okay, um, blum, blum, blum. I'm gonna make the pockets first. 
So something small here. I think I want to cut this out here and sort of fold. Oh, yeah, I have an idea. I have an idea. I ju I'm just going to cut it, guys. I have three of these copies, so I can cut in this. No worries. I'm just going to do this. I think I actually want to sort of fussy cut here, all around here, and then have uh, this. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. I'm going to do it like so for now, just to show you what my idea is. Yeah. Uh, fold this in, have this as sort of gussets, and then... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to fussy cut all around here, yes? L around the chimneys. And then I'm going to fold here, here, and here. Good plan. The question is, do we need to ink it? I think so. I'm just, I'm just going to. Very lightly. Just, you know. Yeah. To make it look a little bit older. Now, these are very delicate, of course. Maybe that wasn't the smartest idea, but I don't care. <laughs> I just really like this. So I'm going to fold this in. This is going to be the gusset on the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to fold this in as well. And this one. See, now it will look like this. Oh, it's just the cutest. Needs a little bit more inking. Also, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, ink around the edges. I have it stand out a little bit more. Careful, we do not want to break the chimneys. Yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. I don't believe I ever did this. New. Something new. Okie dokie. I love it. What do you guys think? It's, it's just the cutest. It is just the cutest. Does it need like... No, it does not need a flower. Um, Small label here. Maybe... I'm gonna put something there. This is done, this is done, this is done. Label. Uh, what was I gonna put here? Oh yeah, lace, lace. Label, label. And then we need to do the front. Still, I'm not gonna do the front um, until I finished everything else. So let me take out my labels. I have two more pages to go to fussy cut, these two. They're all in the brownish sepia color, so Love it. Love it. I'm going to have a chat with Michelle because I want the exact same ones with maybe some green and a red and blue. I don't know if that is at all possible. I'm going to have a chat with her. Maybe she's like, oh yeah, I can make this. Let's hope so. This is my beautiful box. Yes. Uh, and see how much I already have. It's, I uh, sort of organized it, guys. Circles, ovals. Um, these are labels with the round things and these are labels with the angled ones these are all sorts of shapes and these are just the the straight ones and then the tiny ones and the very very big ones love them all love them so much uh, the only problem is it takes me a long time to cut them so let's just see let's just see what do we want official guide to the city or do we some want something the country store now that's that doesn't Really go well with this theme. Crown, diamond. Hmm. Hmm, that looks interesting, right? What else do we have? Mockingbird. Mockingbird? 
or just some more writing that will go very well with the all the ledger and stuff who i am definitely going to use some of these I, I have three sizes of this right yeah oh yeah she's gonna go on here because that's sort of of the same maybe not i am not um a historic a historian 1887 normally i'd say well that's sort of the right i'm gonna put this on here yeah um because this is way older this is from 15 something i sort of read her uh bio on here she was one of the well i think the only female painters and uh acknowledged by a uh, lot of other um well-known painters like michelangelo i think it was michelangelo leonardo da vinci and, and stuff you know yeah I've never heard of her because, well, yeah, well, I am not like someone who knows a lot knows a lot about art. Yeah. Oh, pretty. Yes, pretty. Thank you so much, Michelle, for making this. I know she made this for everyone, but especially for me, of course. <laughs> Probably not, but you know. Oh. I just like to think she made this for me. I will link it below. Guys, I will link this um, um, digital kit below. Because it's very affordable as well. It's ridiculous. She has such good price. Oh yeah, lovely. Let's do a small one here. And again, with a date of something... Eighteen seventy-two. Does this go? No, it doesn't. Oh, this looks interesting. Yes, very interesting. Does it need a little bit distressing? It does. Do we have a piece of paper somewhere on the floor? Let's be a little bit more grungy yeah oh yes yes no there plan number two okay what do we want here 1937 you cannot put on 1937 oh this one is lovely Normally, I would hoard this. But guess what, guys? Digitals. You know what that means? Print them out again. Yeah, and she made different... Uh, oh, it says 1914. Oh, that's okay. Could be just a number, you know. Oh, yes, lovely. What was I saying? Digitals and then something. Oh, yeah. Michelle made uh, different sizes of the label. So, you have this one. This big and then probably... Uh, in a smaller version or e even uh, two two or three sizes so so if you don't know how to print two to a page you don't need to because michelle thought about this for you guys a uh, small one here small one yes arter b oh wonder where the b stands for arter b there you go, Arthur B. Doesn't need a, doesn't need a something there. Normally, I'd be happy with a date like eighteen eighty seven, but <laughs> not in this case. Oh, that's lovely. I'm not gonna put it on here. I, it, it needs to be on somewhere. Um. No, lace. I'm going to have lace here. On the front then. Don't know. I love it. Love it though. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, label here. A smaller one. Let me get my big box out. This one? 
Gustav and Helen. Yeah. It's a little more grunging. Fantastic. Her name was actually Eugenine or something like it. It, it had a sort of a name next to it like Eugenine in her nun's habit, whatever. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. More. Label here. Here, here. Does it need any sort of label there? If so, which one? Oh, I have, also have circles. Aren't these pretty? I guys, I love them so much. Yes, I love them a lot. No, I'm not going to use any circles there. I'm going to keep this as is. No, no, it needs to be on the front. Okay, guys. Um, yes, I want to have some lace. I'm going to have lace here. Yeah. Do we want lace here? Do we? I also have some um, cream colored lace. Do you? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. Oh, let's. Yes, I'm going to have this on here and then black on the other side. Black over here. Yes, cute. Does this need. Oh, can we do put some lace in here? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe some black. I think I prefer the, the cream one. Yeah, I prefer the cream one. No lace, no lace. And then lace on the front. The lace? Do we okay? Well let's let's see. Do we want lace here? Or on the other side? Yeah, I'm going to have lace on here as well. There we go. Yes, I'm going to glue all the lovely laces on and then we're going to focus on the front. Yeah, this one. Now, guys, I don't work a lot with lace, so I had sort of a play what I wanted to put where. I really wanted to put this one but I'm I'm gonna not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it because I I don't know. I I am not Tina Shabby Dabby do that. She just puts on a piece of lace and it looks fantastic. Uh, so I'm going to have something that is straight. Now I'm going to use uh, a piece of this. Yeah. Like so. Yeah. And then over it, I think I want this. With the sort of bead in black. Like so. Yeah. And I was playing with this because I really want to have this on here. It looks like a family crest or something. I'm going to have this here and then a wax seal. Because I promised you guys a wax seal. So I'm going to put a wax seal here. So this is the idea. Yeah, I have Drippy out. To help me out with, with uh, something. With something. I don't know, guys. This could be a horrible mistake. Um, what I think I'll do is... Cut pieces to size first, and before I do anything else, glue this on this. Hopefully. Hopefully. You have not seen this piece yet? Yes, because that was in my haul. Yeah, we went thrifting, guys. We went thrifting a lot. This is sort of unraveling, but let's just put this. Take it off. It'll be fine. That's my guess. Okay. So this is going to go on here. But first, I'm going to put this on here. Will this hold with just um, glue? 
or do I need my glue gun for this? We're gonna try glue first. Okay. Yeah. Yes, put glue there. I don't know how this works, guys. Hopefully, it'll stay. On the small beads. There we go. Okay. Try to flip it over. Now, please stay on, little beads. <laughs> please stay on. I think the best thing for me to do is sort of press it and let it dry for a minute or so. And if it doesn't work, guys, then I'm going to take out Rippy. But I'm hoping it'll work. It did work. Uh, but I used Drippy to put this on. I just put a strip of uh, a strip of glue, of hot glue here. So this is actually loose, but I really enjoy this. <laughs> Let's just hang, have it loose. Now, I want to have this on here and here. But something in me says it needs a third element. So I went through my uh, scraps. And I no, this it's just beautiful handwriting. No idea what it says. But I was thinking just to have a piece like this uh, ripped and then underneath that's what i was thinking like so i'm gonna remove the red yeah does it make more sense Maybe on the bottom. It needs something. It really does. Yeah, I'm gonna ink it though. And a little bit of the black suit as well. Needs to be nice and dark. Already inked this. Cannot ink this, no. <laughs> Okay, this here, this here, and then this here. Right? Yeah. Yes. We're just gonna do it. Don't know what it says, but no. Looks old. Here's one. Here's two. Is this the right setup? Yeah, that's, that's a four. Okay, this one on here. And then this one. Will it hold with, um, well, we're gonna try it. I think it will hold. Someone made this for me and I put it in Happy Mail. I do have some wax seals, but I'm so rubbish at this and it's just, in my opinion, dangerous. I'm just dangerous with fire and wax seals and such. Oh, gosh. I just love it. Guys, I think we're done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have a quick flip through and see if I want to add a little bit more. And then look at the end result. Oops, we went over an hour. I'm sorry, guys. That's what happens when you're having fun. I had no clue what I was doing this morning. And then I get to my craft table and, and this happens. Some experimenting with laces and such. And uh, yeah, I like it. This was a brochure. Now it's a folio thingy. Just, it's just cute, guys. Yeah, I didn't add anything to it other than uh, put some scraps in the pockets just to show you that you can put some stuff in if you want to make something similar and have it as Happy Mail or just have fun making it. Yeah, it's cute. Love the lace and then this with the beads on it. It also adds a little bit of texture to it. That's nice. This is loose, but that's okay. Just like it. Yeah. When you open her up, we have two flappies. 
this was from the original brochure this was a piece of the original brochure of course the the front is lovely decorating i did all sorts on this i did rub-ons i did washi tape i did uh some well stamping I did stamping some of these die cuts a lot of distressing lace everything i did everything yeah then you open it up i just love this look at this yeah it's creepy <laughs> it's creepy but cute a small pocket i just put some small uh pieces in here to show you that you can put actually can put something in and on this side as well i love this pocket just you know cut out an image and uh cut a little bit sort of all around it and make these what's it call it Gu I'm, I'm, is it gusset i can't remember anymore guys um yeah make it into a pocket could put a label here don't do it no we're done we're done we're done we're done yeah and then on the back this came from the brochure as well and a lovely pocket that i put some scraps in and inked all around it it's just lovely a really really nice project now this is in a in a certain theme guys it's like renaissance paintings but have it you know bunnies florals frogs <laughs> whatever you want yeah Guys, that's it for today. What I am going to do, I'm going to link Michelle's um, kit below. Yes, the labels of Days Gone By. It is fantastic. I just love it. It's 16 pages. Yes, 16. See, there's the, the smaller one and then the even smaller one. So um, it's probably every sort of label has three sizes on here, which is perfect if you don't know how to do the printing to two page and such. So love this kit love this kit the only problem i have with the kit is it takes me so long to cut <laughs> oh but i just love it so i'm gonna link it below um it's friday guys which means you have a day off tomorrow yes do whatever you want do whatever you want i'm gonna <laughs> i'll be back again on sunday with a wonderful thrift haul because hobby and i we went thrifting we uh, had a short vacation three days and we visited nine i repeat nine thrift shops so you can imagine i have lots of goodies to share with you so that's going to be on on sunday if you're not into vintage you probably are guys if you're not into vintage hauls i'll see you on monday with another lovely project so until then guys take care i'll see you then bye